Aloha e como mai. Welcome to Explore Maui. I'm your host, Sam Peralta, a native to Maui, a University of Hawaii graduate, and a former Hawaiian Emergent School teacher. This is me sharing my experience that was born out of loving the people, the islands, and its roots. This podcast is all about culture on the island. We'll cover the historical, practical, and hysterical things you need to know while here on Maui. This is the story of the Hawaiian moon and the ancient calendar. Ancestors use the calendar of the turning moon. Each day follows the name of a mahina night. The moon will rise and set according to the rhythm of the night cycle, monthly, seasonal, and yearly fluctuations. So let's get to it. The three anahulu of the mahina, the three phases of the moon cycle. The three anahulu were similar to a week, but it was 10 days. Each anahulu reflects a character across the sky. The first anahulu is Ho'onui. Ho'onui was a period of increase. The following phase, Poipoi. It was when the moon was rounding and waxing. And then finally, Ho'emi. Ho'emi was the period of shrinking, where the mahina declines and it becomes darker each night as it returns to darkness. Each Anahulu were a series of 10 days, but you'll learn from the calendar system, the days actually started at night. So the first moon always begins with Hilo, Kapo'okahi. Hilo means to twist. It's a good day for fishing and planting. Next is Hoaka, Kapoa Lua, the second moon phase. When this moon appears, it's a night of shadows. Ghosts appear, scaring the fish away. Ku Kahi. Ku Kahi is the third night, Kapoa Kolu. It was made for Ku, one of the Kini of Kua of Hawaii. Ku was known as the sacred four deities of Hawaii, Ku, Kane, Lono and Kanaloa. Ku Moonites were. Ku Kahi was the start of the period of prayer, Hulai. Some days were forbidden for fishing or farming. The first period was in honor of Ku. From Hilo to Kulua, ritual was practiced according to the phases of the moon. Kulua, the fourth night, Kapoeha. It was the cusp of the moon. Kualua. Ku was represented of the cardinal direction to the east, where Hina is the west, where Ku and Hina goes to sleep. Ku and Hina meet the cosmic night moon to be born each coming day. Ku was the person who was over agriculture, fishing, house building, and canoe carving. The fifth night, Ku Kolu, Kapoa Lima. Fishing was abundant. Women gathered crab and vana and some seaweed, but it wasn't a really good time for planting. Ku Pau. Ku Pau was the sixth night, Kapoa Ono. It was the last of the four days of Ku. It was fair for fishing, but good for planting uwala, and uwala was sweet potato, followed by olekukahi, kapoahiku. It wasn't a good time for planting or fishing. The second of the negative night, olekulua, it was another night of ku, kapoavalu. It was when the mahina rose during midday and sets at midnight. The ninth night, Ole Kukolu, Kapoeva, rises at 1.12 p.m. and the mahina sets at 1.12 a.m. It's really good for fishing and poor for planting. And Ole Pau, Kapo Umi. Ole Pau is the 10th night. It was the last night of the negative and it was the end of the first Anahulu. It was about the third of the month, and it was good for planting ulu or breadfruit, 
but not good for fishing. So we covered the first section of the Anahulu, the phases of the moon. We're in the phase of Ho'onui, the first 10 days of the moon phase. Get ready for part two coming up shortly. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Anahulu, the Hawaiian moon and ancient calendar system ancestors used of the turning moon. Mahalo for listening to Explore Maui. You can find more of me on IntegralHawaii.com. This is where I talk story in all things culture, Hawaiian language, and spiritual connections. And as always, if you find yourself on the islands and desire a ceremonial experience, I've got you covered. Click the link below. As we like to say in Hawaii, Ahui Ho!